Hello, Professor Lobot. Um, week three, I hope you had a good couple of snow days and got some rest. Um, so this week at internship was definitely a little bit different because of the snowstorm. I unfortunately wasn't able to go in uh, as many days as I wanted to, but safety first, so that's important. Um, at work, I focused on inventory this week um so kevin walked me through their inventory process and it's pretty simple they really just it's nothing complicated they just take notes down of um everything that they have and then put them into an excel sheet so i did that for him which was a little bit challenging um only because a lot of the stuff that I was doing inventory on was like chairs, tables, chafers, and like that's kind of heavy to pick up, but you have to like move it around to count it because it's all in like a storage space. And their storage spaces are located in their stairwells, and so they're a little bit snug to say the least. So I was <laughs> crawling through some things. Um, but yeah, I took inventory, like I said, on chairs and how many chafers they had. Um, and then I also took inventory of their event serving ware, which was plates and serving bowls. Um, they had like silver serving, like some nicer serving tins. And then we also did, um, we washed and um, pulled out some nice uh, white serving plates. And then um, clean those off and saran wrap them so we could store them, um, but then immediately pull them out and I'll have to wash them again later. So this week, um, watching our TED Talk, TED Talk videos, it was all focused on communication, which I think was especially important this week because of the snowstorm and you know having to be able to talk to get Kevin and Matt and like communicate with them about like if it was safe to like literally leave the house because it was 13 inches of snow later um so I really liked what um Robert Rufkin was talking about he you know said some things about how it's so easy to communicate now especially with technology but that it can be harder to be sincere in those things and one of the things he mentioned which I've actually heard before is like writing letters and I definitely think that's very important um I know when I did my um interviews last year for a class with Haley who used to work Cardinal Hall I wrote her a thank you letter and I asked her I was like what's like a really important thing to you and she also said just like writing thank you letters um so I definitely will be sticking to that um probably like following the end of my internship I'm definitely gonna be writing Kevin a thank you letter because he's been so nice um and then I was fascinated by what Lori uh Sakola said um she was talking a lot about executive presence and vocal executive presence and using tonal strategic tonality which I've never like thought about before um but I definitely think that subconsciously I've thought about um her communication logic was totally based on like delivery and less on like if you email them enough, which I think is definitely super important, especially when you're being a leader. And I've, you know, I watch Kevin and he is really good at um, using communication different between the guests and, you know, with coworkers, you know, because I'm his, um, I work under him and we have a little bit more relaxed communication. Um, but, you know, when he's talking with the guests, he's very formal and um he's not gonna be joking around with them i mean if they're you know with, if, with every situation especially with it, if it's serious you know he's not gonna be joking around with them um but i definitely will be focusing more on my strategic tonality when i'm communicating in interviews and um you know with management too um focusing on delivery and reading my audience um, that's super important when communicating, you know, knowing what they need um, 
to be able to get your point across clear and to also help them remember what you're saying. Yeah, so uh, next week I'm excited to get back to my regular schedule and learn something new at work. I hope you have a great week.